so much for the customers, the referrals. We really appreciate them a lot and we go a long way in promoting us. Thank you. Recently, we just designed the biggest extruder in Africa, 500 kg capacity per hour extruder machine. It has been installed in Ogun State in Nigeria. And if you really want to see, we can easily take people there for sightseeing. Actually, we are working on doing the biggest extruder. On, we are going to think of doing one ton per hour. We are still we are on that already. We are on that already now. We keep giving you updates on it. Thank you so much, Africa. You your support so so far has brought up brought us this far. Your support has brought up this brought us this far. We are really grateful, extremely grateful to everybody. All the farm owners, all the feed millers, we are really, really grateful. Thank you so much. So on this episode I will be discussing on the feed extrusion and drying extruder machine and drying okay a lot of people a lot of i've received a lot of calls a lot of emails a lot of a lot of questions frequently asked questions about okay if you buy your extruder are, are we see do we still need to buy a dryer if you buy an extruder do we still need to buy a dryer let me quickly break this down for everybody to understand the type of extruder machine we fabricate and the type of extruder machine that is common in the market are wet type extruder machine. Feet that come out from those extruder machines are about 15% moisture content. What this means is that they are not very dry. It's not that they are not dry, but they are not very dry. And they are prone to spoilage in 72 hours. That in 72 hours, if they are not properly dry, they will start getting bad. That means you need to dry them if you want to store them for a longer period of time. So you need to dry them. So our machines falls under this kind of type of extruder machines too that the moisture content it has is 15%. So if our machine produces any feed, the product, the pellets that comes out from the machine, be it 3mm, 4mm, 6mm, are of 15% moisture content. This means that you can easily feed them to your fish directly. You can feed those things, um, the pellets, the extruded feeds to your fish directly without drying. But if you want to dry, if you want to preserve more than 72 hours, then you will need to dry them. So we now have different drying means. You might not necessarily buy, buy a dryer, but you can still dry your feet. Yes, so people make use of the sun. I have a particular farm in, in, in no, I think in the heat, Enugu, big farm. But they don't have a dryer. What they do is they sun dry all of their feet. They sun dry all of their feet. Yeah, there's a particular farm to that a particular feed mill that was set up in a, in Portacot, a holder in Portacot. Most of these farms don't have dryers. They just sun dry. But during the rainy season, they used to have problem. But I don't know how they do go, go about it during the rainy season. But if you need to dry your feet, either means you want to do it. Either you air dry it, you sun dry it, or you use a dryer a dryer will help you to now achieve eight percent moisture content that you can now bag and sell that you can now bag and keep thank you so much i think you really understand this part that i explained so let me talk about the dryer that we at b spice agrogenic company fabricate we fabricate two types of extruder f dryers we have the rotatory dryer and we have the bed dryer the rotatory dryer is made up of stainless steel and this is useful for people that are medium to yeah, medium farmers, medium feed, medium scale farmers, medium scale feed millers, and people that are into commercial production of feeds. That are into commercial production of feeds. The source of it is the element or gas. Is that you use element or gas? And this is really good to protect your the, the aroma of your feet. And this helps to dry it in lower, in less time. Time com is time saving, energy saving, and it's really, really good for people that can really afford it. It's a little bit on the high side, but it's good, and it helps you to keep the quality of your feet intact from production to to sales. Intact, everything intact. So the bed dryer is also good, but why I don't really advertise this for people that are into commercial production people that are bagging their feet to sell is that most times um, the heat source of the bed dryer is either ga um, charcoal or is either charcoal or firewood and there's no way you will use firewood or charcoal to dry your feet that you will not have a smell and aroma of that 
charcoal or firewood in it. Actually, the composition might not be altered, but definitely the quality when it comes to the smell gets altered. And once this gets altered, you might not achieve that fishy smell that you really want to to achieve. That fishy smell might not be able to, might not be able to achieve that. So that is why I don't really recommend, uh, uh, recommend this for commercial uh, for commercial produ produ production. For people that are into commercial production, I don't really recommend this for them because you really, you, you want your feet to come out with that strong fish smell, you know. But if you are using the bed dryer, I can assure you, it might not come out very strong unless you have an oil coating machine, which is another cost, which is, a, which is another cost. The, what this oil coating machine does is that once you dry your feet, you don't take it to the oil coating machine. That's where you now coat the smell back on it, you know. That is when you now coat the smell, the fishy smell back on those feet. Doing that will reduce your cost of production and it might not be really, really effective. So, thank you so much for listening. And if you have any questions, you can follow them to Be Spice LT. I will say, uh, our email will be down this video. You can go through it and send us emails, questions. You can call us, send us a WhatsApp. This is our website, Be Spice Agro Engineering Company, Be Spice Agro Tech. You can go through that too. Thank you so much for listening. And I hope to receive you, to receive your questions, and I'll be glad to answer them accordingly. Thank you so much. Once again, my name is Agbato Adebola, head of operation Be Spice Agro Engineering Company. Thank you so much.